If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fine. So today we are going to study about muscles of mastication. So we have two categories of muscles of mastication. One is the main muscle of mastication or say main muscles of mastication and then we have some accessory muscles of mastication. So the main muscles, these are attached on the rami of the mandible. Okay, and we also have some accessory muscles of mastication like the buccinator and some other muscles also. For example, we have the suprahyoid muscles. So this is the hyoid bone and there are few muscles which are present above this hyoid bone. So they assist in mastication. That is why they are called accessory muscles of mastication. Okay, so first let us study about the main muscles of mastication. So we have temporalis, medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid and the masseter. So the temporalis, it is a fan shaped muscle. So let me draw it here, fan shaped muscle. And it has fibers. So the fibers which are present anteriorly, these are vertical fiber like so. And as we move posteriorly, these fibers will have some inclination. And by the time we reach the posterior side, they'll almost get horizontal. So you can see the most posterior side, the fibers are kind of horizontal and anteriorly it was vertical and midway it was having variable degrees of obliquity, kind of oblique lines, right? Okay, now let us see the origin and insertion of the temporalis muscle. So as we drew this diagram here, you kind of got it from here only, all right. So, the floor of the temporal fossa, this is the temporal fossa right here. So, the floor of the temporal fossa up to the inferior temporal line. So, we have a structure that is called the inferior temporal line. That will be the origin. Okay. And the insertion will be these fibers, they will come and they will kind of converge and they'll form a tendon which passes down from the temporal fossa so i'll show you here so this is the temporal fossa so i've removed the bone here now you can see more clearly okay so our temporalis muscle kind of goes in a tendon shape and it will insert on the tip anterior and posterior border and medial surface of the coronoid process of the mandible okay so as you can imagine the zygomatic arch was above it our zygomatic arch was kind of above it and the structure was below it all right now the actions of the muscle the anterior and the middle fibers elevate the mandible to occlude the teeth. So, let me draw fibers again. So, the anterior fibers and the middle fibers, they elevate the mandible to occlude the teeth and the posterior fibers, they will retract the mandible after protrusion. So, this was about the temporalis muscle. Now let's move on to the medial pterygoid. So it is a thick quadrilateral muscle and we'll see how it originates. So if I remove the mandible here. Okay, so now I have removed the teeth also. So the superficial head of the medial pterygoid, it originates from the maxillary tuberosity on the infratemporal surface of the maxilla and the deep head, it is larger and it arises from the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate of the sphenoid bone. So, this is our sphenoid bone right here. Okay, so this is the sphenoid bone right here. Okay, 
So now we can appreciate the lateral and the medial pterygoid plate. Here you can see we have the medial pterygoid plate right here and this is the lateral pterygoid plate. So the deep head it will arise from the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. So this will be the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. Now let's get back to the original model. Now let us see where is the insertion of the medial pterygoid plate. So the fibers will form a tendon and they will insert on the medial surface of the ramus of the mandible posterior inferior to the malohyoid groove. So they will insert. I'm struggling to show you here. So the fibers will form a tendon and they will insert on the medial surface of the ramus of mandible and that will be posterior inferior to the malohyoid groove. So this is our malohyoid groove somewhere here and the fibers will form a tendon and they'll insert posterior inferior to the malohyoid groove and also to the inner aspect of the angle of the mandible. So here we'll have the angle of mandible obviously. So these are the insertion of the medial pterygoid muscle. Now let's move on to the lateral pterygoid muscle. So this is the key muscle of the infratemporal fossa. Okay, so this one is a part of our sphenoid bone. So the upper surface will arise from the infratemporal surface of the greater wing of sphenoid. So let us see where the greater wing of sphenoid is, if we can here. Okay, now I have removed all the structures. So more clearly we can see. So we are now seeing from the lateral side of the sphenoid bone. And as we move it like this, we can visualize the entire sphenoid bone now. So this is the lateral side. And as we move this way, now we can appreciate the sphenoid bone. Okay. Now let's again get back to the original image we were seeing. So the upper head of the lateral pterygoid will originate from the infratemporal surface of the greater wing of sphenoid. And the lower head will be from the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. So let us again visualize it or see it here. So here we can see the lateral pterygoid plate. And this is, and this will be the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. So the lower head will arise from the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. Few minutes before we studied that the deep head of the medial pterygoid, it arises from the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid. And this was the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid and from the medial surface the deep head of the medial pterygoid plate will arise so that is the differentiation we have to keep in mind so in this mandible we can appreciate the pterygoid fovea this is oops this is our pterygoid fovea right here so both the heads of the lateral pterygoid will converge as a single tendon and insert on the pterygoid fovea and also the adjoining articular disc and capsule of the temporomandibular joint. Now the actions of lateral pterygoid is that it assists in depression of the mandible to open the mouth. So this is the only muscle of mastication which opens the mouth and it also causes protrusion of mandible along with the medial pterygoid. So it opens the mouth, protrudes the mandible and helps in side to side movement of jaw and grinding of the food. I think I forgot to tell you the action of the medial pterygoid. So the medial pterygoid assists in the elevation of mandible and along with the lateral pterygoid as we studied it causes protrusion of the mandible and like the lateral pterygoid it helps in side to side movement of the jaw and grinding of food. Alright. Now let's move on to the masseter muscle. So masseter is a quadrilateral shape muscle and has three layers. 
superficial, deep and intermediate. Now the origin, the lower border and inner surface of anterior two-third of the zygomatic arch. So here we can see we have our zygomatic arch. So the origin will be from the lower border and inner surface. I hope I said inner surface before also. So it arises from the lower border and inner surface of anterior two-third of the zygomatic arch. Inner surface means you'll see from top and this surface right here. Inner surface, okay, anterior two-third, inner surface. And also the origin is from the adjoining posterior border of the zygomatic bone. So the insertion they insert on the large central area on the outer surface of ramus of mandible and adjoining surface of the coronoid process of the mandible. So from here to here, okay. Now the actions are elevation of mandible to approximate the teeth, means close the teeth, bring in occlusion and retraction of mandible and the superficial fibers help in protrusion of the mandible. So this was about the main muscles of mastication. I hope you found the video helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you found the video helpful. And do comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Allah Fiz.